We're open to anything. <laughs> Kiss me through the phone. <laughs> I forgot about that song. <laughs> that song hits different now, am I right? Hey, yes. Hey, P. I miss you. I miss you too. I'm just drinking some whiskey. I'm drinking some red wine. Just thinking about you. Cheers. I'm thinking about you too. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about your turtleneck. Oh my God, I don't have a, I don't have a hair elastic. And I don't have a nose ring anymore. Why? It fell out. Shout out to the user who said that if I wear a turtleneck and an elastic band around my wrist and a nose ring, then that means I'm 100% gay. And oh, and I was licking my lips a lot in that video. I couldn't help it, it's Fletcher. I know. And now she's got the red hair. She's had the red hair for a little bit. Yeah, do you think we're twins now? No. Oh. Let's well. get rid of the everyone who has red hair looks the same. Yes, thank you, Purse. Thank you. I have had to deal with this my whole life. Everyone telling me I look like Lindsay Lohan. If y'all can watch this and honestly say I look like Lindsay Lohan, if you could find a real <laughs> pick side by side comparison that convinces me, you get a prize. I don't know what it is, but I'll send it to your house. I'll send you a million dollars. <laughs> I, I, that's person, it's not me. But the only redhead I can confidently say you look like is... One, two, three. Maggie, Maggie Rogers. Rogers. <laughs> oh, we have an announcement to make. Yes. <laughs> the whole point of this video. Mm -hmm. So raise your glass. If you're of age, raise your glass. Mm -hmm. If that's you're not, I... don't. But Sarah, what do we want to announce to everyone? Me and Purse are starting a podcast. So the podcast is going to be called Girl on Girl. It's going to be conversations between Sarah and I. We're going to have a straight perspective. So specifically a white, cis, ginger woman. And you're going to get the queer Desi girl who's a little tiny. I'm only five foot one. Mm -hmm. Perspective. Four foot 11. Five foot one. Four foot 11. Five one. Shorter than Dora. Dora the Explorer is five foot two. We're going to talk dating, taboos, pop culture icons. We're going to get a little personal. You'll find out some more stuff about my dating life, Sarah's dating life. Like us dating each other, like we'll get into that on the podcast. You guys should probably tune in. Basically this podcast is just like, what happens when you put a straight girl and a queer girl in a room together and just like force them to talk about sexuality. Me and Purse have been friends for almost a decade now and like throughout that decade, Purse was discovering her sexuality. So I got to be there with her exploring all of those things from my perspective as someone who identifies as straight and from her perspective as someone who's like going through all of it, I think like, I just like learned so much. <laughs> I'm really passionate about this. I discovered a lot about who I am through talking about sexuality openly and like asking the questions that are hard to ask. I find that a lot of people are afraid to ask questions because they think they're being ignorant when really, yeah. You could ask me anything. You're coming from a place of wanting to learn. I will take that in with open arms and I'm happy to answer at the best of my ability if I know the answer. We're just super excited about this podcast because our goal is to try and like inspire and facilitate these conversations with other people who either have queer people in their lives or maybe they identify as straight and they just want to learn more and they want to understand more and they want to be more open. We're hoping that us having these conversations on a podcast might inspire other people to do the same thing. <clears throat> We've seen a lot of people joking about like, oh, everyone's starting a podcast these days. And we were just talking about how like, we totally get it. Like we get that there's a trend. And all we gotta say to that is like, we have voices that we, we feel are valuable. We have stories that we wanna tell. There's not enough straight queer conversations happening out there and we want to start putting that out into the world. And so anyone who feels passionate about that and wants to join in, we love you and hey, love you. maybe you can join us on the podcast. The podcast is live. You can go listen to it right now. The first episode is just like sitting there waiting. We go into a deep dive of um, our childhoods, our first encounters with queerness. I almost thought I was gay. So for all you 
all you people who noticed some characteristics of Sarah, like, I don't know, maybe find out in the first episode what the deal with Sarah is, because I think a lot of us want to know what her deal is. Even I want to know, to be honest. So like, I'll be listening. We, we actually do really hope that this resonates with you guys. We just think this is so important. It's an important topic. No matter how much things are progressing, there's still prejudice and there's still homophobia. And I see it all the time. You see it all the time. I just want to communicate to anyone who is in the queer community who feels like straight people don't don't care or maybe don't understand or aren't trying to understand. I'm not trying to say like, we all understand, but what I'm trying to say is like, you have allies here and we want to know more. We want to open up. We want to talk about these things so desperately. I'm not trying to be a, like a um, queer savior or anything. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and Sarah, we trust. I'm learning how to be an ally. I I stumble all the time and I am going to make mistakes. But the point of this podcast from my perspective is to show that it's okay to stumble and make mistakes. The important thing is that you're trying and that you're asking and that you're curious and that you're listening to the stories of queer people. I love that so much because I feel like from a queer perspective, and all my fellow queers, gays, lesbians, pansexuals, asexuals, transgender, like I think there's also in the community itself, there is that se clear separation between straight people and the LGBT community. And I feel like, yes, we have our communities, but let's not have that separation. And that's what we're kind of trying to achieve. Like look at Sarah and I. Yeah, we are connected. We're literally sisters. <laughs> Please follow us if you can, if you want, or if you can. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, follow us on Instagram. We will link everything in the description. And we appreciate you for even watching this video if you made it this far. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you, if you want your friends to listen to Girl on Girl Podcast. Girl on Girl Podcast. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.